Uh, well, uh, some years ago, when we discovered social entrepreneurship was such a rising force in the world, just about 10 years back, we decided to find an academic home for social entrepreneurship. And uh, at that time, I was um, just down the street from Stanford, and I was on the board of the, uh, the business school there. But social entrepreneurship is such an international phenomenon, and we decided that we needed to find a real international home. Oxford is the greatest university in the world, and yet it has a, a, a very young business school. And at the time, we approached the, the, the dean of the business school and said, hey, could we create a, a home for social entrepreneurship at Oxford? And the dean said, yes. And 10 years later, here we are, and the school is going better than ever. Uh, social entrepreneurs have something that we like to call chutzpah. They have moxie, brazen nerve, sheer guts, and they're not afraid to make outrageous demands to try to change the world. Epiphany and change fruits. <laughs> yeah, um, a, a, as, should I speak into this camera? Uh, a, a, as a kid, I was an entrepreneur, and I started a couple of uh, failed ventures. Uh, which I learned a lot from, but I always had this entrepreneurial spirit behind me. And years later, after I had uh, start, helped start eBay and uh, was looking to do something in the philanthropic world, uh, it struck me that there were other entrepreneurs in, in the social field that didn't have entrepreneurs backing them through foundations, and that became just a great opportunity for the School Foundation to be the home for social entrepreneurship. Anything else you feel inspired to kind of contribute to the video or anything else you feel uh, important to? Yeah, I, I, I think for any prospective students out there, the Oxford experience is fantastic and social entrepreneurs are not only welcomed, but they're really valued here at Said.